Steam World Dig. Again, I played this originally on PC, but I am now playing on the Nintendo Switch. I want to find my Joy-Con grip holder, but I am playing with a wired controller from Power A, for those who are wondering. So, I loved Steam World Dead when I first played it, so I'm really excited to be able to play it on the Switch now. Welcome to Tumbleton. I don't reckon I'll get out the way I got in. Could be part of my uncle's mind, I guess. All it needs is a splash of paint. Better explore it before the rest of my light dwindles. There's that! Or Dorothy. She's Dorothy in this one, but I think she tells you you can call her Dot. Say, what do you think you're doing? Your dramatic entry just caved the roof in. I'm sorry, miss. My uncle sent me to, me to claim to this mine. I was heading to Tumbleton to find out why when I fell through. Oh, you're Joel's nephew. He's been going a while. I've been sneaking down here mining what, I, what little I can, and I just found him. I'm so sorry. You should go see for yourself. Find Uncle Joel! Let have it. I'll wait here and try to find a way out. Uncle Joe! It's been a while, Uncle. Sorry I didn't make it here before you left us. You always claim we were so much alike. Can't say I understand why you sent me to claim, though. I'm no miner. Well, I hate to rob you of your plunder. If I could just borrow your pickaxe, I might get out of hit this caboose. All right, I'm gonna fire. Oh, pickaxe. Okay. I absolutely loved this game when I played on PC, though. So I don't mind playing it again. See, you found a pickaxe. You, you do look like a proper miner with it. That's good. The lever opened the door out of here got buried when you dropped in. You'll have to clear out a tunnel below us to get to it. See another game that would have fell through. I might have goofed. Oh no, I'm, I'm going right.
it's nice to see a new face in town, especially such a such a handsome one. Don't get many newcomers. Folk are more likely to move in the other direction. So, you're our new miner. Sorry to see old Joe finally go. He'd like he'd not look well for some time now. You're a quite fellow, just like him, huh? You just let me do the talking, then. Just real life what happened. <laughs> you handled that mine like a real pro. Seeing as you're the new owner and all, maybe you should keep it open. Bring anywhere you find back up to me, and I'll give you a fair rate for it. This town sure can use it. I'm Dorothy, by the way. Now, why don't you try mining some precious stones? Mine for Okay. And this is what really drew me into the game, the mining part of it. up until I get up. So I get a good haul. Oh, I need a different pickaxe. my loot. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. You should go see my daddy at the upgrade shop. He'll fix that pickaxe so you can dig even deeper. You need to tell him how you saw me down. No need to tell him how you saw me down there earlier though. Great unlock sharp pickaxe. Now I've got something to work with. What do you have then? I'll sharpen that pickaxe for ye. I'll let ye dig even into harder soil. Do you want to buy the sharp pickaxe? Yes. So I need 30 to get the copper. And I could buy that, but I don't have any money. So, <laughs> all right, we're done with you, Cranky. That pickaxe should let you take on harder dirt deeper down. When I was scavenging for ore, I found something else too, a cave. You might want to check it out. Joe used to bring all sorts of stuff down there. Be careful though. Critters have been a bit feisty since around the time he went missing. All right. So we're actually gonna head back to the area we were in. So this gives you the, the stuff in here gives you the better money.
across there. Gotta be careful. You know what? Or maybe we need to go this way, right? I forgot. You gotta get that upgrade. Power glove! Speed boost! Oh no, what's down here? I kind of got curious. I was like, I got to see what's down here. Guess not. Then. I don't have any room for it. It's a little. I think I need the drill for that, so it don't even matter. All right, let's head back to town. <laughs> Dang, what's that on your feet? I've never seen anything quite like that. Did you find that in the cave? You think Joe left it there for you? Yeah, I originally played it on um, PC because Twitch, like when Twitch was first doing their game bundles where they would give out the games, um, it was one of the games they had given, given out for free. Now Twitch does bundles, so... <laughs> Maybe there's no more down in the mine some maybe there's more down in the mine somewhere. Did you show it to my father? You really should. So ye found one of Joe's cave, did ye? Don't know what unnatural stuff he was up to down there. Cogs and steam, that I get. He meddled with some weird things he did. Sometimes I let him stack some of it here in my store. Weird glow glowing stuff. I'd rather see him stored in the cave. He dug deeper now. What do you have there? Give you a nice pick-me-up and restore your ye to full health. I don't have enough for that. I could buy ladders. But I'm gonna wait. We're gonna go look for some more. Yeah, that's what I usually try to do to um, 80. That's what I try to do. I like to, one of the reasons I liked the game was because of the fact that it had you like exploring. And it, it was a lot to explore in this game. And I loved it for that reason. Uh, I can always go that route, right? Follow them.
Look like it's another cave on there. Yeah. Like for me, usually, like when I played, I tried to make it to where he had kind of like, in a way, kind of like stairs to get back up. I'm trying to remember. I don't know if the grappling hook is in this one or if it's in part two. Because I've played part two as well. I can get for light. It's a lot more difficult playing this on console than it is with the PC version. PC, I kind of blew through it. mainly came in here to get the light. Because other than that, I'm just have to keep going down and hope for the best. Now I'm like, I wish I had a bought uh, ladders. I know what's probably up there, if I can get to it. Uh. I 
Oh. We're gonna run out of light, aren't we? I had to find a way to get back up. Yes, I did. I did um, complete this game before on PC. I finished it on PC. Uh, the developers were kind enough to give me a copy for the Nintendo Switch. And like I said, I absolutely loved it on the um, Switch. I did so. I mean, on the PC. And then I played Steam World Dig too. But there was this weird bug in Steam World Dig too that. Um, my antivirus program kept reading it as a false positive as a virus. And so um, I would have to disable the anti, um, antivirus program in order to play it. That was the only way I could get around it. You'll find more valuable ore the deeper you get. Okay, now you can that. Medium pouch. And I can upgrade my lamp. What do you have then? Um, if I do the medium pouch, I can carry more. I tried that actually, 80. I did try whitelisting it first. And it still would read it as a false positive for some odd reason. I added it to the whitelist. And it still read it as a false positive. Which was weird. <laughs> um, I'm trying to debate. Let us do... That gives me more. But this gives me another inventory slot. So I'm going to do the pouch. And we're going to upgrade our lamp. Alright, so we upgraded our lamp. Or we bought lamps. Maybe we bought lamps. Thought so. We bought lamps. Okay. But we can only carry four. Um, what I was using at the time... Can't remember. Might have been, um... I don't remember, actually. Because now I, um... Might have been Avist. Might have been. But it kept reading it as a false positive, regardless of it being whitelisted or not. So, But that is Steam World Dig. Um, this was just a kind of a small playthrough of it. Um, I will be playing probably more of this next week, Friday, when I do my Nintendo Switch game coverage. Um... Because ideally, I was supposed to be ending at 1.30, but I started streaming late, so I'm going to try to, um, right now I use, um, what is it? Can't remember. I know I used the Windows, um, Defender as well, and even whitelisting it there didn't work, so, um... I have to look it up, but, um, because I don't like to use McPhee, and Norton is okay, but I'm not a big fan of Norton either, so, but I do want to get into a little bit of retro gaming today, which is something I haven't done in a while, so we're going to play a little bit of of some retro games. Yeah. I usually don't buy the um, 
program, I usually um, download their free version. Because I think in the past, I think I used Bit Defender, I want to say. back up and sell and then I will switch over to some retro for a bit. It's been a while since I've been, played some retro games and um, the Switch actually has their online services which offers you the old school retro games. Now I did try to play a little bit of um, Ghost, and, Ghost and Goblins or it might have been Ghouls and Goblins. I have to look it up again. But I did try to play a little bit of that before a stream, and the controls were a little clunky, so. All right. So, that is Steam World Dig A Fistful of Dirt. It is available across all platforms. This is the Nintendo Switch version. When I first played it, it was on PC. But this is the Switch.